People have been talking about 7 nanometer for a while. Now we are in 2019, it's finally our time to have it in our hands in the form of smartphones. Millions of dollars are being invested by many companies for this race just to make the current 10 nanometer to 7 nanometer. Is that 3 nanometer a big deal? Let's find out. Before we move on, if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, feel free to subscribe and turn on notification to get updated with the technological advances. Almost all the flagship mobile chipsets in the market are using 10 nanometer FinFET manufacturing technology. Moving to 7 nanometer is another shrink down which will eventually give better transistor density and power efficiency as a result of smaller transistor size. But the technology needed to make 7 nanometer chips are expensive and as the gate width come down, technology become extremely expensive and so are the design cost. TSMC is expecting 40% power and 37% area reduction from its 7 nanometer FF plus EUV compared to 10 nanometer chips found in today's high-end processors. Samsung's performance expectations are in similar area. As more and more functions are added to smartphones and other gadgets every year without increasing device size, chip manufacturers are forced to increase functionality of the chip without increasing the chip size. This 37% area reduction will mean a lot more functionality within the same area. With 40% power reduction, the same smartphone which you are using now can last 40% longer with these technologies. In portable devices, it does save battery life, but in high-end gaming system, the bottleneck is a thermal runaway which will force the system to operate at slower clock speeds resulting in poor throughput. So this 40% reduction in power makes the system run at higher clock speeds for a longer time. There is a big race between major chip makers for delivery of 7 nanometer technology based chips. With just two foundries ready to produce 7 nanometer components in time, for early 2019 products, fabulous chip designers like AMD, Apple, HiSilicon and Qualcomm are very busy securing deals for their next generation products. TSMC is Apple's choice of manufacturer and both AMD and Huawei are using the TSMC too. Qualcomm also partnered with TSMC for its last two chips and reported to be working with them again this year. Nvidia has partnered with Samsung for its 2020 GPUs. What do you think about this 7 nanometer technology? Share your thoughts in the comment box. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.